Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle exception or error in Spring Boot REST API application. Well, Spring Boot provides a good default implementation for exception or error handling, but sometimes as per the customer or client's requirement, we need to structure a REST API error response and we will send back to the client. In this video, we are going to learn how to customize a REST API error response and we will send it back to the client. And look at here, this diagram shows a default Spring Boot error handling flow. For example, if client sends a request to the REST API, we define a REST API in controller class. So REST API will basically handle the request and it will send to the controller service class. And service class will validate the request parameter and if request parameter is not valid then it will throw the exception and spring boot default error handling will basically handle the exception and it will prefer a error response in some standard format and it will send that error response back to the client so this is how the spring boot default error handling works let's see this spring boot default error handling in an action so look at here, here we are sending a request to get post by ID REST API. We are basically retrieving a post with ID 10. If post with ID 10 is not existing database, the Spring Boot will basically create a error response and it will send back to the client. Let's go ahead and let's send a request. Basically post with 10 ID is not existing database, but even though we are trying to hit a request, then we'll get a response like this. So Spring Boot default error handling mechanism will basically create a error response like this in this standard format and it will send back to the client. And the error response contains a timestamp, status, error, trace and message and path. Alright, so this response looks good, right? So this response, error response, I know contains all the necessary information which is required to the client but sometime we need to customize or structure a your response as per the customer or client expectation now let's take a look into how to customize a rest api error response well we are going to create a global exception handler class in which we are going to write all the code like we will handle a specific exception and global exception in a single place so instead of you know handling exception in respect to controllers we'll create a separate class and we we'll name it as a global exception handler and we will write a code to handle a specific and global exception in a single place okay when clients send a request to the rest api rest api will process the request and it will send back to the service service will validate the request parameters and if request parameter is not valid it will throw the exception and we will handle this exception manually and we will customize the error response and we will send back to the client uh, in global exception handler all right okay so this is the default spring boot rest api error response all right and we are going to customize spring boot rest api error response like this we will include timestamp message and details and if you want to include any other fields in this error response, then you can add it. We'll see this more in coding section. And these are the annotations which we are going to use while you know writing a code to customize a REST API error response. At exception handler annotation, we use to handle a specific exceptions and send the custom response to the client. Well, let's say if we want to handle resource not found specific exception then we can use this annotation to handle resource not found exception and we can create a custom response and we will send back to the client and at controller advice annotation we use to handle exceptions globally so instead of handling exception in each controller we can create a class uh, as a global exception handler and we can annotate this class with at controller advice annotation and we can handle specific and global exception in a single place we will learn more of, more about these annotations in next video in coding section all right so this is the pretty much uh, the overview of you know how the spring boot error hand, default error handling works in spring boot application and how we can customize the error response of the rest api 
In next video, we'll write a line by line code to customize the REST API error response as per the client expectation. Alright, I will see you in the next video.